Lato is a wave rider. She's riding all these big waves. As an African, we don't want her. Hey, my little truffles, how y'all doing? It's your girl, Kyle Black. Y'all, Lato, the cloud chaser, needs to stop leeching off people to get relevancy and and publicity because she's out there leeching off people's hard work and success and be like she got impact and influence on songs. And what's really crazy about all of this is the fact that she begs to do collabs with artists who have a loyal fan base. Like John Cook, she did a collab with John Cook on Seven. John Cook has a super loyal fan base. Like the BTS army is unstoppable. And now she's heading over to one of Afrobeat's best artists to do a collab just for the lamb like like she always do please like subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification button so that you don't miss out on all the tea i'll be dropping y'all so it turns out davido just released the remix of his big hit song unavailable featuring lato y'all davido actually did lato a favor by featuring her in his song because davido has more views on his song unavailable than any of lato's songs beside the two major collabs she's had this year and just to be clear, she's literally adding nothing to the songs. The songs could practically carry her because she got no fan base, nor influence and impact. Y'all, I'm not trying to be racist, but the point is, white people rip off black people and get the credits in this industry. And Floppy B, the industrial plastic bag, is a perfect example of all of this. She did this to Glorilla and so many other artists out there. Please let me know in the comment section below how you feel about all of this. Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons so that you don't miss out on all the tea. I'll